Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review and here I have the Spider-Man retro uh, version of the Kingpin and this is a massive package. Uh, so let's go over the packaging here first. So you get that old fashioned Spider-Man TV series logo from the 90s. You get that old Marvel Comics logo on the corner there. You get Kingpin here. On the billboard you get the big ball, uh, beach ball kingpin look there and instead of that it's not buttoned up um so yeah and you get the webs in the background too uh, not much on the side not much on the bottom not much on the other side or top um but in the back here you get that old logo again same picture of kingpin on the billboard marvel's kingpin if you guys want to pause and read that you can and then here's all the figures in the wave you get spider-man peter parker green goblin Gwen Stacy, Daredevil, and Electro. And then here's the DCBI. Well, now it's covered up, actually. Uh, I got this from GameStop, too. Uh, but besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Kingpin out of the packaging here. So he has two accessories here. So you have a calm Kingpin, or a little pissed off look of him. It, he kind of looks calm or serious here. So I like this head sculpt. We've seen it before. Um, both head sculpts we've actually seen before. You get the blue eyes, you get the brows, bald head, you get some wrinkles in the forehead here, the frown, and yeah. And you get no chin there, so that's cool. They nailed that one. Um, and yeah, not much else for the head. And then you get his little walking stick. Uh, you get that brown looking wood there. You get a little bit of white scuff in there. Uh, and then you get this little diamond there and gold ring around it. So yeah, there's that. It's pretty cool. We've seen it before. I think it might be a different color on mine. Uh, I have it already built and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll do a comparison here in a bit. Uh, and then here's Kingpin here. So this is the same head sculpt uh, that we've gotten with the Build-A-Figure, except for it's repainted. So you get a cut across the eyebrow here. You get a black eye, you get more cuts around there, a lip. You get white and those nice pearly white teeth. You get a little bit of tongue in the back there. You got another scratch here. He's screaming, you get veins popping out of his face here. Forehead too. I like it a lot. I like that head sculpt for this one. Um, and then I think the body is a different sculpt, I think. Well, well I think this is a different sculpt. But, um, yeah, we get, I think this is the same vest or jacket that we've gotten from the last one. So th this, this part right here is repainted though. So you get the blue undershirt, whatever you want to call it. And you get that little button. If it'll focus, I don't know if it'll focus, but it's, it looks like it has a little bit of green in the middle of it. I don't know why my phone's not focusing on it. There we go. You get a little bit of green in the middle and the gold around it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he has a orange little vest for him. You get the blue shirt, like I've said. You got purple pants, like Hulk. And then I think the one thing that they kind of messed up on here, uh, they didn't change the paint on the shirt here to change the blue. But it's not going to bother me a whole bunch. I just noticed that they should have switched it to blue instead of black here. So yeah, they, they messed up on that part, but... Like I've said, it's not going to bother me a whole bunch. You get the buttons here. So that's cool. Get more of those black buttons there. On this vest. You got a red um, handkerchief in there. You get his shoes. You get wrinkled up. Some nice looking sculpt there for stitching. I like it a lot. But besides that, that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over his articulation here. So his head can only move down that far because of that no chin thing. Uh, you can look up that far. You give him the logo left and right. Uh, no head, uh, just a little bit, a little head pivoting. Uh, his shoulders can move out. If it'll focus, there we go. That far, 360 rotation around the shoulder, single joints and elbows, 360 rotation around those. Uh, his, Wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. Oh yeah, one more thing. You get that ring on his pinky here, with that little red diamond on it. 
So that's cool with the gold around it for his actual ring. So there's that. Uh, he has a diaphragm joint at the top here. So you can go forward, none, backwards, none, side, none. Well, very little, actually. Um, and then he has a waist swivel. Up. Nope, no, no waist swivel. So his legs can kick out that far, forward, that far, backwards. Actually, a decent amount. You got a thigh cut here, single jointed knees. So you don't bend that much. But you get 360 rotation around those. There you go. 360 rotation there. His ankles cannot really hinge. So down that far, up that far, some ankle pivot there because the pants kind of get in the way there. And here's the build a figure kingpin next to the retro series kingpin. Uh, the difference I see here is this one has like a collared shirt with a tie there. This one doesn't. And then the staffs, the wood part, this one's a black and then that one's brown. But besides that, there's no really difference besides that sculpt guy, the head sculpt guy, a little bit of repaint. I think this one, nope, it has the blue eyes. I wasn't sure if they switched eyes or not. Actually, this one has a little bit of a blonde hint to it, to the eyebrows. That one has black eyebrows. So there's those differences. Um, but yeah, that's all we got for that. I don't have any problems with it. It's just a, a little uh, different sculpt for the shirt and I like to repaint for the face. Um, I think I don't really have any issues with it actually. I like the figure, honestly, uh, they did a good job. I like the detailing on the face sculpts a lot. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.